Well, the moment of truth is almost upon us here. They are about to drop the puck. The Bruins kick things off by winning the opening faceoff, and here we go. Rocks him into the boards. He knew exactly what he was doing with that hit this early in the game. He's trying to send a message and dictate the pace. Good reach for the stick to knock the puck away. Intercepted in the offensive end by Jones. They score! And just like that, it's a 1 0 hockey game. Well, they started like a freight train just steamrolling their opponent, James. I, I mean, they really dictated right from the onset of this game. That tells me one thing they were prepared coming in. We get to the shot off the most coveted area on the ice, right in front of the paint. Doesn't allow the goalie to get set up and puts it home. Minnesota's come to play tonight. They've been very aggressive to start, and as a result, Cheryl, they got the lead. Typically, the home team has the advantage, James. So when the away team comes into the barn, they want to make sure that they're not flat-footed, that they're urgent, they're aggressive. And to start this period, to start the game, they've been ready right from the hop, and they're rewarded with a goal. Lindholm's got it in the defensive zone. He got all of that one. The Bruins cross the blue line and are on the attack. Slides it diagonally to Marchand. Handles the pass. Takes the puck at the point. Great defensive effort with the strip. Takes the pass from the left wing. There's the physical side. Good pass over to Silverberg. You know, sit down your toes there, James, but had to react to that massive hit. Quick feed to McAvoy. Quick pass to Coyle. Painful, James. I felt that one in the broadcast booth. And he slides it quickly to Beauvillier. Passes the puck over to Coyle. Ah! A shot. Oh, what a great glove save on the play. We're still in the early stages of this period. Minnesota's up, one zip. Puck is dropped and we are back underway. Moves it to Burns. And he slides it quickly to Kane. And it's a quick pass to Heatley. The Bruins get a hold of the puck in their own end. Tried to get 2-2 two -two with it and loses possession. Devastating hit and what a choice of energy for the bench too. Trying a physical line here, and he gives it over to Kane. Moves it to the middle, and that goes off a stick. Grizzlick's moving the puck through his own zone. The Wild have gained possession. Steps inside the attacking zone, down the left wing. And the goaltender comes up with a piece of it to keep it out of the net. This shot's coming from the middle of the ice, and it has some heat on it, but he's ready and waiting for it. He's to position, and he makes the save. Still lots of time left here in this frame. Minnesota's ahead, 1-0. Boston's moving it along the wing. And that's knocked away by Gostas Bear. And that's off a stick. Jocelyn for the puck, and it's knocked away. Niskanen's taking it from his own end. The Bruins played along the wing. And he takes the pass. Moves the puck to the attacking area. Now a quick pass to Niskanen. Here in the corner, he grabs the puck. Takes a spill onto the ice and loses the puck. And the traffic neutralizes that threat. Picked up along the wall by Benino. Moves it quickly over to Shattenkirk. take a penalty, you might as well take your opponent with you as they both march to the box. Well, things open up for both sides a little bit here with some four-on-four -four action. Well, four on four is similar to three on three. There's more ice available and you can't just dump it in. You want to possess the puck and try and create numbers around the ice. That's two on ones all over. Oh, some strong physicality on the play. Slides the puck across to McAvoy. 
Picked up along the boards by Vanek. Gets in front of it. Past the halfway mark of this period. 1-0 the score. The Bruins win the draw here in their own end. Oh, what a hit against the boards! Executed perfectly, James. I mean, he can't maneuver. He's got nowhere to go. He's lined up, and then he's taken down. Keatley's all-alone zone ability means his best goals come on the breakaway. Marchand's known for staying engaged and winning those battles for loose pucks, guys. That's his no contest zone ability, and it's how he keeps things going for his club. I'm expecting one of these players to make a big difference for their team before the game is over. Back to you guys. Let's have a look at that last save again. It was absolutely incredible. You're under pressure, you're under attack, really under siege, and you find a way to get to the puck. This is the stuff that champions are made of. The setters will glide into the dot. Play resumes as they win the draw here inside the offensive zone. And now he moves it quickly to Michael. Sends it in front. Great defensive play to pick off the pass. And that's stolen and they'll go on the attack. Minnesota's working hard in all areas of the ice. Defense is structure, and it needs to happen in all three zones. Scores! And the scratching and clawing has paid off as we are back to even. Well, back to even, James. I really like their game. I mean, when you're pushing and you're trying to find a way to get ahead and on top, you have to trust the process. That's exactly what they've done, and they've been rewarded for it. You don't get many odd man rushes throughout a game, James. You have to capitalize on your opportunity. I thought they executed perfectly. They didn't overpass. The right player took the right shot. More than half the period has expired. And it's all tied up. The Bruins win possession here in the open ice. Looking to make something happen along the boards. Gets a piece of it to keep it out. Well, this save is all about the compete to find the puck. I mean, it's a battle, and you're trying to outbattle your opponent. You can see him bobbing up and down, trying to find the puck. He finds it at the last minute, reacts, and makes the save. Coyle's got it against the boards. Here's a shot. Score! The goal! Shot, James, and that means is the goaltender can't see it. So he's listening for it, and it buzzes right by him because he cannot catch up to it, can't find it with his eyes, and can't find it with his body. The Bruins are up by one after that strike here in the second half of this first period. Well, and they're good shape here right now, James, because they started it strong, they competed for every puck, and now they find themselves with the lead. Now it's about holding it, being consistent, and finding a way to reach for more. Minnesota's looking to break out. He's got a step! Off a stick and they can't connect. Late goings of this period. Boston's got the momentum with a one goal lead. They'd love to add to that. Stalls won the face off here in the offensive zone. And he's knocked off the puck there. Dumps it in. Minnesota's got a hold of it along the wall. That's a solid check on the play. Tries to get the puck to Stahl. Takes the feed. And he has the answer on that one. And some good footwork to kick it away. Center into the middle. They score!
Well, this is an unlucky bounce. As a defender, you're in the middle of the ice trying to clear out any kind of traffic, and the puck just hits you, deflects, and goes into your own net. That's a tough one to take. Bofi's not going to be able to return to the game, James. I mean, that injury that he suffered earlier is going to keep him out. This is that tough loss for their team. No, and you clearly kind of know where you stand from a coaching standpoint now, but that is a serious blow to the lineup here for the rest of the game. What a hit against the wall! He's a power forward, and part of his game is delivery and executing hits. Well, he certainly did there. The Wild have taken possession in their own end. Minnesota's crossed the line and on the attack. Lays the body into that play. Quick feed to Silverberg. Inside the defensive zone, moving the puck. He's only one goal away, James, from his next milestone right here. In close! And a huge stop by the goaltender. He's got a little jump. He's in, all alone. And he's peeling off to regroup. And Ross stick handling in his own zone. And he slides it quickly to Kane. Kane completes the pass as it goes off a stick. Boston's grabbed a hold of the puck. Taken by Kane. in the books. Let's grab a breather and we'll come back with period number two in moments. A clean sheet of ice beckons and period number two set to get underway. Neither side giving up much in the opening frame, and here we go, still tied up in the second. Quick pass to McAvoy. A feed out front, and that's intercepted. Just a crushing hit against the wall. Takes it to the net. And now it's taken by Johns. Makes it look easy with the stop. Lots of time left in this period. We got a tie game. And off the draw, they'll take possession. Here's a short pass to Saka. Pasternak's got it in the offensive zone. And he stopped that one. And that skips away on a nice defensive deflection. Johns is having a lot of fun out there. Why wouldn't he be, James? I mean, he's putting up numbers left, right, and center on this point streak. But you know who's also having a lot of fun? His team. They're rallying around him. Looking forward to another one. Scooped up along the wall by Vanek. Moves it to Burns. And he slides it quickly to Silverberg. Minnesota's got it along the wall. Scores! And we take a drive to Clutch City as they take the lead. Well, the lead is in their hands, and now it's about building off of that. Good shift management, dictating pace, controlling the offensive zone. Everything now, it's on the line. Well, he's in tight to the net, James, and he knows that he's not going to have much time or space to get it off, so he elects to use the snapshot and beats the goaltender. Minnesota's rolling now, having taken a one-goal lead here in the second. Well, yeah, they got to be a wave of momentum that continues to push and press now, James, as they seem to have control of the game right now. They can't give any momentum back to their opponent. Puck scooped up by Prosser. Sets it out front, and that's intercepted. And it's a quick pass to Lindholm. He got all of that hit. Can't hang on to the puck after taking a knock. Panics lugging the puck. Moves it quickly over to Corby. Oh my goodness, it stayed out. What a save. It was all but in James, and that athleticism and the will to get to that puck, that was on display. Turned aside with a glove by Thomas. Well, all those tracking exercises when you're young come in handy when you're older, and this is a prime example. Look at him, Bob and Weave trying to find that puck. He does and makes the save. Such an impressive save. Love looking at this one again, James. You know that this goaltender is dialed in so focused when they're doing everything to get to the puck and keep their opponent at bay. 
Minnesota's got the lead on the scoreboard. A big reason to that has been the amount of pucks that they've been putting on net. Nice job tying up his opponent. Boston's got the puck in the defensive end. Oh, he'll feel that one. And that's intercepted, and they'll go on the attack. Quick feed to Kiki. Puck grab by Prosser. Feeds it over to Kane. What a steal in his own end. With the puck inside the defensive zone. Gaining momentum up along the side. Centering feed. Picked off in front. Takes it from the right side. Good hit on the play. Oh, he got hit by a freight train there. What a collision. Grabbed along the board by Geeky. Along the boards, they battle for the puck back and forth. Slick feed. Excellent stick work on the play. Quick pass to Enroth. There's a collision with some authority. Scores! They strike a kid, and that's three unanswered goals. Over and over and over again, James. And you can see the excitement on the bench. They know that they've deflated, and they've pushed their opponent back on their heels. They need to keep bugging away here and not get complacent. I don't think anyone was expecting this move from him, James. It's unpredictable. He catches everyone off guard except his teammate, who's able to cash in with a beautiful pass. Minnesota's been rolling along all night, and they've now extended the lead to two. Well, it's one thing to be aggressive to get the puck, but when you have it, you also want to be aggressive when you attack the net. That's what they've been doing, and then they've been rewarded with two goals, but the majority of the shots that they've been getting have been coming off of that aggressive nature. He grabs the puck here at the point. Scrum along the boards. Boston's got the puck along the wall. The Bruins move to the offensive zone. Michaels moving it ahead. Here's a chance. Just slide to the net. Taken along the wall by Johns. And he's got that one. Gives him a jolt with that hit. is on and off his stick in a hurry and it needs to be from that low zone slot area James just beats the goaltender because it gets off his stick so fast the Wild have come to play in a big way tonight yeah right from puck drop to James I mean just the urgency around that initial opening face off they've been quicker all game long and it's reflective on the scoreboard that knocks him off the puck Bovillier's picking up steam. Here's a short pass to Pominville. And the traffic jam in front blocks the shot. Boston's going on the attack as they gain the zone. Moves it to Coyle. The Wild have gained control of the puck in their own zone. Receives the pass. Great save, played it perfect. Lindholm's been a welcome addition back into this lineup, James. I mean, he's been out with injury, but as he gets reinserted in, you can see the spark that he's provided for his team, and he gets a great shot on net. Moves it up through the middle for the right. The Bruins take possession in the defensive end. Moves it quickly over to Coyle. Minnesota's gained possession along the boards. Puck picked up by Vanek. Hard hit, frees up the puck. Moves it on over to Lindholm. Minnesota's got to be impressed with their entire collective team effort here. I mean, the coaching staff, this is exactly how you draw it up. This is the start you want. This is how you want them to run through the second period. Now they just got to finish it out and close it in the third. Shuts the door with a great save. Thomas has really struggled tonight, James. I mean, the save is... Scores! And look who's at it again. Second of the game. Too bad you can't bottle these games up and just recall them whenever you want because he's been all around the net. This is exactly why you send bodies to the front of the net, James. You want to create a screen, and the goaltender drops into the butterfly position as a default and is battling to find the puck. Can't find it and beats him clean. Minnesota's got to be feeling good about their game tonight. I mean, they've just moved the puck around so effectively. Yeah, they've gotten in the offensive zone because of their speed through the neutral zone. They've gotten good entries, and then they have puck possession in the offensive zone. I mean, it's been so difficult to take it away. It's been a string on their stick. They've been evasive, they've been elusive, and they've driven the net when they should have. And we're still only in period number two. Directed over to Prosser. 
Carrying the puck deep inside his own end. Quick feed to Burns. Picked up along the wall by Prosser. Quick pass to Granlin. With possession along the wall. Quick snap. Scores! Oh, the road team is having themselves a party in this one tonight. And I don't think anybody except them like it. No one likes it in this building, that's for sure. I mean, fans aren't leaving. They made money for this ticket. And if you're on the ice, you just want to crawl out of there. But you can't. There's more game to play. This is a tough one, James. The Wild have been absolutely tenacious in their pursuit of the puck. And it has paid off in bunches in the back of the net. Yeah, it's been great to watch. I mean, entertaining when there's so many puck touches right through the lineup. It's a lot of fun as a player, too. You feel like you're contributing. Minnesota's trying to make something happen in the offensive zone. Back into the top. Big time stop. Rask all over that save. I mean, he's dialed in and he recognizes. Trying to gain a step. He's clear. Slides it across. Oh, absolutely clutch at the stop. Oh, you got to love this stuff, James. The game within the game. And this is a one-on-one -on -one battle. And this goaltender, he knows exactly where he's at and he wins it. Brilliant save. Read it perfectly. The Bruins gain control of the puck against the wall. The Wild have it in their own zone. Angles it over to Michael. Through the neutral zone up along the wing. From the sharp angle, here's a shot. And the puck stopper jumps on top of it to get a stoppage in play. Minnesota's offense has come to shine here tonight as we look at the score here late in the second. And they take possession here inside the offensive zone. And that's the big time save! Oh my goodness! Well, throw technique out the window. This time it's all about the competitive will to get to the... Hey, listen, we've got lots more in store here on this broadcast, so don't even think about going anywhere. We're back with more tomorrow. The moment of truth has arrived for both these teams. Third period action set to go. It's been a total miss. 
last match here as we get underway for the third. Let's see if anything changes. Cheryl, 40 minutes in the books now played. How do you view this one? Minnesota's been terrific through 40 minutes of play, but you know the coach is going to be preaching that full 60 minutes to be consistent and see it right through. So they have to be defensively responsible. They score! If they ever needed one, this was exactly the time. Wow, they're just trying to get some momentum back in this game. So deflated when you give up so many goals, James. But you got to figure that this is a step in the right direction, but what can they do with it now? They've got to build or it's over. Coaches are always harping on pass execution. Well, this is a clear example when the pass is crisp and it's on the tape, it's on the money, it finds the back of the net. Boston's recognized that they're not going to play run time here, so at least try to make it respectable. Respectable, and they can finish with physicality, and that's something that the staff will be telling them. Also look for everyone to be jumping into the attack, trying to get some pressure on their opponent and get some much-needed goals. Quick shot! Score! tonight as they lead it big time here early in the third. They take possession as he locks them up off the faceoff. Here's a short pass to Coyle. Oh, stopped by the goaltender. Moves the puck. Michael's having himself a game, James, and he's already got a goal. Puck's on his stick and really looking to do some more damage. Oh, he hammered him. Oh, he knew exactly what he was doing going into this along the boards, James. I love that it was a clean hit. He finishes it off perfectly. Oh, what a hit on the play. He's on his own bench there, Cheryl. Well, the only good thing is he's not on the opponent's bench, right? He'd be getting a face wash if he was over there, but instead he's on his teammate's bench, and you know what? They're going to pick him up. Sends the pass over. Gets the puck in deep. The Wild have gained possession off the wall. Bufflin scoops up the puck now here inside his own zone. Snaps it onto the net. Off the glove. From center, they get into the attacking area. And kept that one out of the net. And that's poked away in the offensive zone by Silverberg. Oh, a big time hit on the play. Well, and it's another hit. I mean, how many times is that now, James? He's going to continue to be a target if his head is down. Great poke by Silverberg. Battling for it along the boards. The Bruins gain possession. Van Eck's made an incredible play there, James. He stumbles in front of the net, but fought. All alone, on the breakaway! Oh, serves up a pokey ball as it's poked away! And he knows exactly where he is in his crease to be able to make this play. If he misses, James, it's in the back of his net. And he loses control here. Looking to make something happen in the offensive zone. Oh, what a save in front! Well, these are the saves when you know that your goaltender is dialed in, James. The ability to get to the top of the crease and be square to the shooter, that's a great save. Minnesota's put in a total team effort here this evening, and they lead it comfortably in the third. Michaels won the faceoff. And he takes the feed. Fires it on net. Oh, he got a piece of it to keep it out. Back to the blue line. Oh, and he stops that one. Directs it on over to Marchand. Now a quick pass to Pasternak. Here's a shot. Big save by the goaltender watching that one. We know the goaltender was set to this position, square to the shooter, to be able to make that glove save. Minnesota's been on a roll all night long, and they continue to lead in the third. Michaels won the draw here in their own zone. Takes the feed. Michaels got it along the wing. 
A little dipsy doodle and he loses possession of the puck. Michael is such a great player, James. He's got great hands and in tight skill, but just that extra move there, it's a tricky one, and he gets lost in it. Walk up. To the front. Nice save from point blank range. Boston's got a hold of the puck. Moves it to Coyle. Fires it. Here's a shot. Oh, club save and a beauty. Both teams readying here for the faceoff. Minnesota's got possession here in their own end. Oh, Parisi is going to have to keep his head up, James. I mean, he caused that injury on hometown player, and the crowd is frustrated, and they're booing every time he touches the puck. What an entertaining game, James. A lot of goal calls for you as it's been back and forth action in the offensive zones. Not much defensive structure to this one as everyone's looking to attack. Hollandville's going to play it against the half wall. Moves into the slot. How did he stop that one? Slides it over with pace to Coyle. And now he moves it quickly to Beauvillier. Stops him cold. Moves it over to Kane. Minnesota's got it in the own zone. And he slides it quickly to Granlin. Huge steal in his own end. Oh, he caught him. Oh, and that's a thunderous hit along the boards. It's bone crushing, James. You feel that one right from your toes all the way up to your shoulders. Talk about finishing a check. Great reach with the poke check by Benito. Oh, and he cuffs it up with the pass. Takes the bump, but still hangs on to the puck. Hammers one. And that one stopped. And the puck's kicked free. And some fancy footwork to kick it over to his teammate. Streaking into the attacking zone from the right. Quick pass across to Benito. And he takes the feed. Made the save on the play. The Bruins have it against the wall. Picked up along the boards by McAvoy. Great use of the body to knock him off the puck. Puck moved over to Silverberg. Steps inside. Moves it to the middle. Oh, and he comes up with a stop. Oh, they do it again. Goaltending is not just about making save, it's also about scoring. And they strike pay dirt once again. Yeah, they do. And their opponents down on their heels are deflated. They gotta find a way to continue with the pressure. Be relentless and try and get another one. You see players working from this area all the time in practice. A quick snapshot. Goalie can't get set to position in time and it winds up in the back of the net. Minnesota's offense continues to shine here in this third period. Well, this has got to be a dream for a coach. You know that they're telling their team in the intermission to make sure they stay to business, stay to task, stay focused. And that's exactly what they've done, and they just hammered their opponent. Kiki's quick stick plays with the puck here at center. Handles it along the blue line. The Wild have the puck in the defensive zone. Great heads up play to poke it away in the offensive end. Carries it in. Minnesota's top trio continues to impress James. They've had a lot of motion in the offensive zone. They're having a ton of fun showing that chemistry, a lot of zip. And they've been productive, a reason why they're on top. Carla Payne is standing by with who she thought had the better performance. Heatley's finish was hard to ignore in tonight's matchup, guys. I thought he had a solid game, and I'm giving him my vote in this one. Musa quickly over to McAvoy. Pokes it away to stay on the attack. Scrum along the boards as they battle for the puck. Scooped up along the wall by Lindholm. Looks to get the puck over to Marchand. Oh, they telegraph the pass and he picks it off. There's a solid collision. Sits it in front. Great defensive hits up play to pick it off. On the attack, they come down the right wing. And he slides it quickly to champion. On the attack along the boards. Minnesota's got it behind the net. Flips it up the net. Lockner saving a good one by Rask. Into the attacking area from the left side. Shot. No room for that one to get through.